Hey you guys, welcome back. Nothing exciting going on this morning except that we are at the orthodontist already. Kaylee is actually in there. Um, she probably has like a half hour left. I think they're taking off her expander, which she's really excited about, but she wasn't excited about being at the orthodontist for an hour. But I think she's okay now. I should have actually told her to like bring some headphones to go with her phone and just listen to music or something, but I forgot that. But when I went in to take her, um, I was talking to the front receptionist, We've kind of become friends because <laughs> I'm here all the time now, and was talking to her about my braces. So you'll see that I have elastics on. And I had elastics on in a different location four weeks ago when I was here. And that's when they said, this is our last, you know, final stretch. We are gonna do this and see if we can move and clear up the last little gap from top to bottom. Well, in that four weeks, I couldn't get the elastic that went from the very far back corner of my top teeth to the very front middle of my bottom teeth. It would snap within 30 seconds of me putting it on and I dealt with it for a couple days and I was not sure what to do with it. But then I went out of town and we went out to Utah where we've been, you know, we were there for like two and a half weeks. And then I got home and their office is closed. And anyway, I knew this appointment was coming up. And so I wanted to kind of talk to him about it because I haven't, I attempt to put those elastics on on a daily basis. But if I can't get those ones on, then I can't, I don't want to like put on the elastic that was supposed to go around the middle of my teeth because um, I don't want to mess it up. It, it's kind of an all or nothing deal. Like I need to have that same position um, set up in order to make it work. And so I've been going four weeks without wearing any of the elastics that they wanted me to wear. And so I kind of talked to her about that and she's like, oh, well, well let's just put you on the schedule right now and he'll talk to you about it. And, and he's doing a consult with another patient, but he'll be right with you. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like, I, th I just th thought we would like make another appointment and go from there. And she's like, no, 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 let's go ahead and take you back and he'll be with you in just a few minutes. And we came up with another plan. He rebanded the um, brackets, you know, little colorful bands or whatever. And then we put the elastics in a new location closer to the front so they're not stretching as far. The problem we have is that I can't wear latex rubber bands. I mentioned this before, I'm allergic to them. I break out in cankers everywhere the elastic runs inside my mouth. And so the non-latex elastics aren't as strong. So they snap and they're, they don't, they're not as effective as the regular ones. And so that's kind of the problem. But he wants to do this setup for the next four or five weeks until my next appointment that I already had scheduled and see if we make any movement with this setup. If we do, then we'll go for another probably four weeks to make up what we lost. And then hopefully it'll be closed up. If not, then I'm gonna get him taken off because there's nothing else he can do beyond this. I think he almost wanted to just take him off today because he didn't think that um, there's anything he was gonna do. So, I'm gonna sit here and wait for Kaylee to come out. Um, she is not gonna wanna be filmed. She showered this morning, but she didn't get ready. And she doesn't like being on camera anyway. Jason is at a meeting with his partners this morning. It is technically his day off, but they haven't met as a group for probably over a month. And that's a really long time when you own your own business. So. He is at that meeting until at least after lunch time and then he'll join us. And then Kaylee and Abby have back to camp night. They just got back from girls camp and they always have the girls come back and kind of regroup and kind of rehash all the fun that they had and all the lessons that they learned and kind of have a fun chit chat about their, their time at girls camp, kind of remind them the feelings that they had at girls camp, which are amazing. So th that's what they have tonight. And then I offered to babysit for a friend who's going out for her 10 year anniversary and knows that all the youth are gonna be gone tonight. And so I just offered to help watch her little kids. And my, my younger kids, Chelsea and Ashley, adore her kids. They're just the most adorable little things. Um, so I won't be able to fill that little snippet of time tonight, but um, if we do anything else fun, I'll let you 
in on the fun. But I will insert a clip right now, since I've been babbling for five minutes about my braces. Um, I filmed at the start of our day a couple days ago. Um, it was fun. We went up to Marshall's and Chelsea wasn't with us, but Ashley was and picked out her backpack for school and phone chatted with Chelsea and tried to help her pick out her backpack. I'm going to insert that clip here because by the time I got home and finished out the rest of that day, I didn't do anything. I fell asleep for four hours, was just really exhausted after going to Mount Rainier with my sister to go and rescue my sister. You'll have already seen that video. I'll leave it in my card in case you didn't. We had to go and rescue her from Mount Rainier National Park and that's like three hours away from here and so round trip it took us like seven hours to go and help that and I think just that built up tension of driving and trying to stay positive to try and help her not get too stressed about it kind of hit me and so I slept for a really long time the next day. But I will insert the clips of me hanging out with Ashley at the store and picking out her fun backpacks and then showing Chelsea. And I don't know that there's much else that day, but I'll insert it here and then we'll continue on our day. So there, that's what we're doing. All right, we're starting at Marshall's today, looking at backpacks. Okay, Ashley, you wanna show them what ones you chose? So this one's mine. It's pretty cute, it kind of fits you, doesn't it? And, and then we chose that one for Chelsea. Chelsea. She's not here, so we had to send her photos to have her look at those ones, right? Yeah, she. I put one for that one, and that one was two. She picked two. Yep. So two Bye. backpacks done. And Kaylee and Abby don't need any, so we're done with backpacks. All right, so here's my weakness, you guys. I know it doesn't say Coke on it, but it totally is the Coke writing. It's a salt and pepper shaker with pizza and Coke. I mean, I hate to say, but those are my favorite things. And then here's a cute barn. Those ones are cute. Uh, what's this one? Oh, elephants. Not as cute. And then there's chickens down there. All right, we're back in the car. I am, like, exhausted after yesterday. I don't know if I just, like, pent up, like, physical energy um, and the stress of trying to get there in time and getting her back home to the rental that they were gonna be in in time. I don't know if it was all of that, but I'm exhausted today. I slept until 10.30 and hang on. So I slept until 10.30 this morning and I just struggled to get out of bed and get going. And right when I kind of came downstairs and got the kids going on their chores, which they really didn't need to do because no one was home yesterday afternoon. They all kind of hung out at friends' houses while we were gone. My oldest decided to go to Target and Ross to go and look for, I don't even know what they were looking for, a swim cover. They have a birthday party for a boy at the end of this week. And so they were wanting a swim cover because now all of a sudden they're a little bit more self-conscious in their swimsuits. And then, and they just got t-shirts, but whatever. So they, but they didn't want us to go home because they wanted a ride home. So I ran up here to Marshall's with Ashley, right? And I didn't really have any intention of getting anything in particular, but the backpacks were on a good deal. They go better at Costco. They go for $12 at Costco in that High Sierra brand. And they're, but they're a really big backpack. And I tend to use those more for my middle schoolers and now obviously for Kaylee in high school. So it's just a little overkill for these younger guys and they like to have a kind of a cuter bag. So I was willing to spend the extra two, three dollars per bag to get these other ones. Um, so they were $15, so it's not a big deal. I am so tired, you guys. But I'm kind of glad I can check off backpacks because literally I got these two for Chelsea and Ashley. Kaylee and Abby have agreed to use their old ones. I still have two lunch bags left over from Costco. Um, that's Thank a long story. Yeah, I got those ones for free. So I have to just ask all of the kids who wants those two brand new lunch boxes and then I need to buy two more. I don't need any of the inserts. I, I just need to buy the actual lunch bag for the containers to go in because we have plenty of containers, all the plastic tubs and whatnot. But anyway, I'm gonna hop on the highway. We're gonna go back and get Kaylee and Abby and their friend Evelyn 
and head back home. I'm really wanting a nap, but I really gotta get some stuff done and make today worth it. So. Ah! <laughs> Gets you every time, doesn't it? Are you hot and tired? Yes. It's like a block. Okay, Chelsea, do you like your bag? Yeah. Let me see you turn around. So it's kind of different than your backpack last year, but I think it'll be good for you. Yeah, it's really cute. You like the triangles so on there? Has, yeah, it has a big pouch here, a smaller pouch in here, this pouch, those. Water there. bottles. Yeah, water bottles for over there. And so a pretty good bag, right? Yeah. And Ashley, still, you like yours? Right? Look at her hair. I didn't get to enjoy her hair yesterday, so today we straightened it. It looks so cute. Turn around, show them. Ashley, turn, show them. Look how cute it looks. She looks so grown up all of a sudden. A little stinker. So there's Ashley's backpack. And at Evelyn, Kaylee's friend, said, oh, that's very Ashley. And it kind of is. It's a pretty good backpack for a little, cute little girl. Okay, you guys, you're never gonna believe what time it is. And I literally have been doing nothing since the last time we filmed. <laughs> I, well, yeah, I sat down. I actually did watch TV with Chelsea for like an hour and I don't know what's wrong with my face. It's really like hurting me. Um, hang on, turn off this fan for a second. So I watched a show with Chelsea for like an hour and then I was exhausted. So I just let myself fall asleep, and that was probably like at 3.30, and it's 7 o'clock. <laughs> I slept until like a solid 6 o'clock, um, and kids were asking me for dinner, so I had him call Jason, and he's going to pick us up, um, Papa Murphy's. And I've just been laying there ever since, just kind of struggling. Um, I don't know, I think it was just kind of a combination of getting caught up on sleep after the road trip and staying up too late since I've gotten home to try and catch up here at home so anyway Abby just came and said she wanted to laminate all the cute little pictures she drew while she was in Utah so I thought that was kind of a fun thing to do while we wait for Jason to get home with dinner so I'll show you what we're gonna do all right so I've got my laminator stuff here I've got my laminator turned on and it has to kind of heat up really quick. So you can put that on the floor, Abby. And then she's got her cute little pictures here. Look how cute they all are. So I figured if we laminate them, then she can make them into magnets or whatnot. So, all right, so Abby, we need to just open this up. I know how to, yeah, I know how to do it. Okay, and then you just start laying them in there. Don't get them up in the little I know. corner too much. You wanna leave a nice little border around each one of them. All right, so they're all on there, evenly spaced. I'm gonna just fold that over. Does that look good? Mm-hmm. All right. So now, is this say ready? Yep, it does. I put it on the side, yeah. Uh -huh, you put it in with the folded edge. Give it room over here to like go out. Yeah. Turned out really cute. So now they're all laminated in there. And she can cut them all out and make them into little magnets. Huh? Is that kind of cute, Ashley? You should have her make some for you. That'd be kind of fun, huh? I don't have a locker bag. You can put it. You can put them on our fridge. That'd be kind of cute. Or on a calendar. That'd be fun, huh? Like what? We could even do like little Velcros on the back of them. To put them on a calendar. That's a cute idea. Or I could do it like I could put Virgo on the back, but. Mm hmm. So Abby's gonna cut them all out. 
Okay, so I'm back from my meeting and Dana and I are going to run out and go to Costco and maybe some other errands. So come along with us. It's a beautiful day outside, nice, getting kind of warm, getting kind of hot actually. We like it kind of mellow here in Washington. But uh, yeah, come along. Hello. Oh, you look a little disheveled. Wow. <laughs> wow. Right. Apparently I haven't done a good job of being a mom today. Chelsea. Can we tie up your shirt? Do you have a ponytail? Can we tie yeah, up your shirt? The puppy. Yeah. Cute. We, oh, should we show the puppy? It's adorable. It is adorable, huh? All right. So here's the puppy. So cute. Okay, let's get a picture of you guys with the puppy. Okay. Her name is Luna. Yep. She sure is a cute pup. Yeah. Just enjoy all your neighbors having puppies. I'm like, we all like <laughs> Mom laughs. <laughs> yeah, enjoy it. <laughs> all right, let's convince them to come to Costco with us. Right? Because you want what? Hot dogs and pizza. <laughs> and to bribe them with food. We just want to spend time with them because I feel guilty about being on the computer and Jason feels guilty about being in his meetings all day. So we just want to spend time with you and hang out. Right? Yeah. Okay, so we're at Costco. We just got our food, and they accidentally gave us ice cream with our food instead and of an extra what we drink. Got too. We got a root beer, so then we decided to make a root beer float. And Ashley, right here, had never had a root beer float before. How is that even possible? Does it taste good? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she said this is beautiful. No, it is. What did mm -hmm. you say? This is good. Oh, it's good. I think you said beautiful. I think the first thing you said was this is beautiful. Yeah. Yep. It's one of one of daddy's favorites too, huh? Rupert floats are the best. Yep. All right. Milk, frozen fruit. Unfruit. Kaylee's got braces that are going to make her teeth hurt. Back to buying bagels, chips, and that's it. That's it. All right, really, we needed the milk. This. You girls take this so, and grab no, that drink. Yeah, I got it. These two. I think are extra tired, right? Yeah. All right, we just finished dinner, kind of late, but I made some smashed potatoes, and I just had corn on the cob, or corn. And yes, I realize I've been wearing, I'm editing, I've been editing all day, and I keep wearing this shirt. But today I'm wearing it with like a skirt. You see? Anyway, but I have washed it. I just, I'm, it's really thin, and the weather has gotten warmer here lately. And so, Chelsea's over here eating her dinner, right, Chelsea? Yep. And we've got the two little kids here babysitting. Ashley, are you guys okay? Yeah. Are you playing? Yeah. Oh, let me show you. Hi, boo. Are you playing? Okay, be good. Have fun. So I've been working here on my computer almost all day and it's probably really noisy because we've got our little AC set up here. It's, I think it got up to 89 today. I know that's not super hot, but hot enough that it's kind of starting to like feel like it and I had to cook those potatoes so it kind of got extra warm. So I've got to finish making the edits on this video and then, oh, you know what I need to do? I'm going to do it really quick. Well, actually, I'll just get it out. I don't think it'll be done in time. But it's Abby's birthday tomorrow. And we've been hiding her presents. I think she actually found out some of them. But Jason brought home some socks from the store. These are smart wool socks. But she likes the no-show ones. Because she just likes to wear the tennis shoes and not have her socks show. So I've got those. All right, so I've got the rest of her presents here. I'm trying to prep some of this stuff. So Abby and Kaylee are at an activity right now, kind of a back to camp, remember all the good times kind of a thing. So while she's gone, someone's calling me. Oh my gosh, I gotta hurry and wrap this stuff. Jason's getting birthday donuts. Oh, he's calling me right now. Nope. Let's call him right back here. Hey, 
Hey, sorry. Are you there? I'm here. All right. Did you send me a picture of the donuts that they have? I sent you two pictures. Yep. I was in another room. You're on camera, so. Jason's getting donuts right now at Krispy Kreme. Oh, so there's nothing like fancy, right? There's nothing what? There's nothing like different. Nothing. There's no like special holiday donut. Right? There's the original cream and a regular donut filled with cream. She doesn't really like the cream. So go with the pink sprinkle. Do a dozen of the pink. Yeah, huh? Okay. Do a dozen of the pink sprinkle for a display. Okay. And then, hang on. All right, so he's getting the donuts. And I've got these presents that I need to hurry and wrap. I'd rather edit right now while the kids are playing upstairs. But Abby will guaranteed sneak down when she's home and find out what she's getting. So. I cannot wrap these when she's home. So I'm gonna hurry and wrap this stuff. Is it, the, is, is it her birthday today? Yeah. Tomorrow. Oh, we gotta get in that one. Yeah. It Look says, yay. Look at my comic book. Nice. I made. Let's go draw. Nice, let's go draw. Dana, look at my comic book. That's a really good comic book. I like it. Yay! Okay. Yay! It says. Yay! 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 We put all of her wrapped presents. I look like a dookie. So I put everything in the car. All wrapped, cellophane. We had the kids helping us. Abby babysits the two kids that are here tonight. And so they helped make these cute cards and they were all, the little girl, she's like super invested in making the cards and wrapping the presents with me and the whole works. And so it was cute to have her to help us. And, um, Anyway, so we hid everything in the car, and I can guarantee you, for whatever reason, Abby will have a need to get something from the car, or she'll need to go get something, or anyway, that's just, it's always my luck. She had to look for something yesterday, looked right in the spot where I hid all of her presents, because it just happens. So I'm just documenting that everything is in the car, so if she has to go to the car for any reason tonight, I don't know, she just has a way of finding stuff. So, I don't think we're done for the night, right? Uh, no, because I'm going to show you everything all set up. I'm going to have a really cute display of her oh yeah, birthday we'll stuff. Set up when they get in bed. Yeah, and then it's really, they really cute. Set up while you're in bed. Yeah, we set up while you're in bed so that it's kind of like Christmas morning. Well, I always sneak down because, like, I wake up so early. <laughs> well, good thing I wrap everything so that you can't find out what you're getting, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then we've got the donuts here. So they're not quite the right color of pink, but that's okay. It's the only pink they have. Yeah. All right, so Dana is here on the computer. Oh my gosh, I don't know my don't myself. <laughs> so I give you the camera. <laughs> I'm done like, so, showing my yucky face. You look good. Uh, all right, oh, so oh. there's one little errand that we need to do before getting the kids off to bed and everything. And so, so come with me. I'm gonna get the two oldest. And we're gonna go do something kind of fun. I got the two youngest in bed. Well, Dana edits and everything. And so I'll show you what, it's so hot here. I mean, I know some of you guys in warm climates are probably like calling us wusses and that's fine. We are, <laughs> I am especially, but uh, we're gonna go get something to cool us down. Okay, so we are here at Safeway. We are gonna get, um, some ice cream because it is hot. It's starting to cool off. I'm here with my two oldest, but they don't always like to be on camera. So I think Abby's hiding in a little sweatshirt here. But all right, girls, let's roll. Let's go uh, get some ice cream. We'll show you our flavors. What's your favorite flavor? Let us know in the comments below. Ooh. 
249. 249 is a good price. What else we got going on over there? Oh, this one is the one I found. Pineapple. Oh, it's good. I'm getting that one. So we got chocolate. What'd you get? Chocolate. All right, let's roll, girls. Right? We ready to roll? Are you having fun with your dad at the uh, grocery store? <laughs> All right, so Jason just got home. What kind of ice cream is this again? Uh, lemon sor or pineapple sorbet. Pineapple sorbet. And we decided it's really tart. He likes tart sorbets. We decided that it needed a little bit of a graham cracker. Ooh, this is going to be good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what it needs. I'm not like a tart kind of ice cream gal. That's really good. Okay, that's enough. Oh my gosh, she just totally splashed me. You want a little twit? It's mine, it's mine. Okay, say good night. Good night. Thanks for watching. And uh, list down below your favorite little ice cream concoction, what your flavor is, how you mix it up. It's kind of fun. It, I, oh, I want ideas. Okay. Have a good night. And eventually this child up here is going to go to sleep, right? Good night. All right, so we're all set up for Abby's birthday. Isn't that cute? It's kind of fun. Stay tuned until tomorrow and you can find out what she gets and see how excited she is. Good night, guys.